good morning. It's another full day for us here in Hong Kong. It's Tuesday, actually. And we've still got two full days, including days. today and yep. tomorrow, which, yep. oh, I'm just savoring every moment of it. Yeah. <laughs> so I think we both had a really good sleep after a traditional dim sum meal last night with Lang's family. Yeah, it's like a Chinese restaurant, which most Chinese people go to uh, when they celebrate New Year's or some special occasions, like a yep. big dining hall. Yeah. And you just order like a set menu, you had suckling pig, yep. um, roast chicken, which was some of the best, one of the best chicken I've ever had. It was so fatty. Like, yeah. you just bite into it. It was honestly like having KFC without any repercussions. Yeah. <laughs> but it was delicious. <clears throat> had some lobster as well. Fish. But surprisingly, we had like 11 dishes, yep. only 400 Australian dollars. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. And plus like... It's like 10 people there. <laughs> yeah, there's like 10 of us. It was so good. And I gotta say, it's my first time having suckling pig and that was oh, delicious. The, the skin, skin yeah. was so crispy and yeah. perfect. I yeah. loved it, every yeah. second of it. So Loved it. Loved it. And then for dessert, we had my favorite, the... Alphantis oh, cake. Alphantis cake, as well as this nice Coconut sago. sago. Um, kind of porridge type thing Coconut with a little milk sago. It. it was delicious. Yeah, it's 10 out of 10. So now we've got some bao that we just got from our favorite new place, Tonki Bao Dim. Yeah, it's got some of the best little dim sums you can get. And, and it's just a street one, it's a chain, it's yeah. easy, it's cheap. These are two dollars each. Delicious. Yeah. So we're gonna have that and oh. also we're walking to Hong Kong Park. Yep. So we're gonna check that out because it's got one of our favorite aviaries in the world. It's just a whole big open enclosure for all of these oh, different so types beautiful. of birds. So I'm looking forward to checking that out again. Yep. It's about 43 minute walk from where we are now. So let's just enjoy the sights and sounds of Hong yeah. Kong. Cherry blossom seeds. these maps pretty much all over the park so you always know where you are. The opening areas or opening hours of the aviary 9 to 5 and look how massive it is just from this angle. Check this out. <laughs> oh my god. I'm so excited.
Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Look at this big baby over here! Oh my god! The most amazing thing about this aviary is that it's free and this is just an absolute haven for all of these different species of birds some are native some are introduced they have little guides of what they are so it shares like what they are where they're from like where they originate from and just a little bit of helpful information there's some interactive games and stuff for kids at the at the very front the very start of the journey but man this place is just unreal Fresh fruit, veggies, chop, everything here. So it's all fresh fruit in the bowl or on the sticks. And then down there, they've got these stations under cover, but also out in the open where the birds can go down there and feed just throughout the day. Like, this is the best living conditions that these birds can have in captivity, but I wouldn't even call this captivity. This place is huge. Aviary Hong Kong Park, but now we are at the Hong Kong Zoological and Botanical Gardens. 
is through here. So they've got more animals in here, but it's mainly just the beautiful Batavian Gardens. But yeah, man, what a city. There's so many layers to this place. Look how many levels there are. That building over there, it's still up in the mist. So there's like bridges and a mountain behind there. Pathways. Yeah. And then up right there is like all these apartment blocks. Yeah. And then you find that more apartment blocks. Yeah. And, and then the just down here where we came from is um, you can get the tram up to the peak. So yeah, man, this place is just beautiful. It's stunning. going straight from here to these birdies. <laughs> so there's heaps of cool little spots that you can just sit down, watch the world go by. Because it's a little bit higher up from the road as well, it's not as noisy. So we're just entering the garden, so lots more to explore we got a kookaburra in here just through there look at him this place is huge is that an albino Kangaroo. It sure is. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Flamingos. I wonder if you could walk through. Probably not. No. Oh, look at them. Yeah. They look like Ibis. <laughs> yeah. Their legs aren't long enough to no, be they're, flamingos. They're not flamingos. We need to find some information. There's American flamingos. Yeah. But oh, it is an islet, an ibis. Scarlet ibis. Scarlet oh. ibis. Torres Strait pigeon. They've got lots of um Australian birds. Also got woodcock. Oh, look at them. Hello. What a nice little place to be. Some chicken there, some doves as well. Another type of duck or goose. It is it's called a common shell duck. Speckled pigeon. And look, they get fresh fruit stuck onto the tree, fresh seeds, nice clean water for them to bathe in. Can you see all the pink flamingos in there? gardens was really nice. I would have liked the other birds just to be in that big aviary because yeah. it 
looks more stimulating there. I mean, they got fresh food, clean water, but the places, the enclosures just aren't as big. Um, they're not as stimulating, like yeah. they're just there. Yeah. Whereas the other birds are like literally enjoying themselves. Yeah, they're like zooming birds. around yeah. and super vocal. Whereas these ones are just kind of like chilling. It's maybe like one or two of each species in the, in yeah. the enclosure. So there's not much stimulation. So if they could move all the birds over to the aviary, that would be great. <laughs> but it was cool seeing some new birds that I've never seen before. But we're actually gonna go to our next destination, which is really popular because it's got a whole bunch of stairs. It's really cool when you actually get there. You can go up the escalators in between, mm. but it's kind of going up levels all the way up. There's like heaps of street food, heaps yeah. of cool little shops with knickknacks and stuff. So we went there last time. So let's check it out again yeah, this time. I love seeing just the usual attractions, but yeah. Always coming back with a different lens. Yes, absolutely. And um, now that there's no riots and things are a bit more open, oh, it's even more it's like fresh garden lettuce. We've got some herbs here as well. Nice. Oh wow, dill. Yeah. Every little ed edible plants garden. What the hell? This is all free, by the way. <laughs> uh, unlike a lot of countries, <coughs> Australia, uh, a lot of things like this where you can see attractions with animals and... Well, we've got to give Australia credit, the botanical gardens is free. Botanical gardens is free and that is stunning. Yeah. Absolutely stunning. But, um, yeah, let's check out this new place and get some street eats yep. before we meet up with Lang's cousin. For somewhere. more eats. Dim sum. <laughs> yeah. 